We recently made an explainer video about the difference between consumer and server SSDs, which you can find on our Scan IC YouTube channel along with other helpful videos. Now, if it's a server SSD that you're after, then this video may help you further in making the right choice. So let's start with a brief recap about the types of SSD and their relative resilience and longevity driven by the type of NAND cells that they use. As the table on screen now demonstrates, there are factors involving increasing capacity and decreasing endurance, depending on the type of cell storage used in the SSD. Both of these factors affect the relative read and write performance and suitability for a number of uses and ultimately the cost of the drive. Making sense of these contrasting factors really comes down to the type of workloads that you're using and the type of devices that the SSD is going to be installed in. There are three different physical sizes, 2.5 inch M.2 and E1.S. 2.5 inch drives are available in three interfaces, SATA, SAS and NVMe. NVMe is also known as U.2 or more recently U.3. M.2 drives come in either SATA or NVMe and E1.S, also known as Ruler, which just comes in NVMe, which should be chosen where high performance and low latency are key. The M.2 format is popular for server operating system drives as they can be configured in RAID 1 redundancy to protect the OS easily and without taking up any hot swappable drive bays in the server. The 2.5 inch U.2 or more recently U.3 NVMe drives are regularly seen in servers where considerable storage is required as well as the capability to hot swap failed drives. These drives should not be confused with the classic 2.5 inch SATA and SAS drives as the NVMe interface is much faster than these. One use servers may offer up to 8 or 10 2.5 inch drive bays and a 2 use server would offer up to 24 bays. The newer E1.S form factor is designed to offer 24 bays in a 1U server, driving greater storage density within data center environments. Okay, so now we understand how form factors may affect your choice of SSD and server chassis, let's go back to consider the performance side of things. Drive performance is usually broken down into read and write speeds given in megabytes per second and IOPS, which is input output operations per second. A typical read intensive SSD such as a 1.92 terabyte Micron 7450 Pro has a read speed of 6800 megabytes per second and a write speed of 2700 megabytes per second, but it's only rated for one drive write per day. In contrast, the mixed use equivalent drive, the 1.6 terabyte Micron 7450 Max, has the same transfer rate but has much higher IOPS rating when writing and it's rated for three drive writes per day. There are also some drives that are rated up to 100 drive writes per day, but these highly specialized drives employ 3D cross point memory rather than NAND memory and so they're incredibly expensive. To be on the safe side, it's always best to have a chat with one of our expert 3XS system architects. We'll happily discuss your server and storage requirements to help you choose the best drive or combination of drives if you're looking at a tiered storage solution. It's also worth considering drive capacity choice too, as although larger drives may be cheaper, they'll also take longer to build as part of a RAID protected array if they should fail. A greater number of smaller capacity drives is usually recommended to get around this, but again, our teams can advise on each individual use case. So that concludes our video on how to choose a server SSD. Please leave any comments and questions that you have below and we'll do our very best to answer them. And I'll see you again soon with more explainer videos. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them.